Good morning, everyone. I know this is weird for me to do a podcast this early in the morning with this type of hairdo. I woke up and I decided I'm going to go to LA Fitness and go use some hot tub for a little bit. So that's what I'm doing currently. Um, a lot's been going on this past week. And yesterday I did a pretty long podcast on what's been going on. But yesterday was a pretty simple day for work. Went in, had a positive attitude, um, had a prayer call with my pastor or situation I've been working on for a little bit and then prayed over it and then went about the rest of my work day. Relearned how to do the tech price changes, learned how to go about uh, using our uh, Lazy Boy Comfort Guide and how to interact with customers when they come in. And that basically sums up what happened yesterday in a matter of four hours-ish. Um, went home, spent time with Tanya. We went and got our Attack of Titans DVD because I'm a f- on a fight last Friday, it was bad enough that I uh, may have acted a little too rashly and uninstalled my account from uh, the PS5, which is why I'll no longer be working on the Winter Fortress project. Yeah, I did think it through it. Um, so we went and got uh, Attack on Titans, the DVDs instead, and we've been watching a little bit yesterday. Then we had ice cream. I didn't finish my ice cream like usual. Brought it home, put it in the freezer so it could be frozen. And then we watched Attack on Titan for a bit. Then we went to the gym together. The poor pool was warm, but the hot tub was cold. It's like they swapped. <laughs> I thought the hot tub was, in my opinion, warmer than the pool, but Tanya feels that it was the reverse of that, so I was like, oh, okay. Uh, <laughs> so after that, we went home, we cuddled and watched Attack on Titan, and then we went to bed. Um, I made us both dinner, which was mashed potatoes, turkey with gravy, and uh, grilled cheese. I had the last of my milk, and she had her water. And, you know, it just, I really enjoy cleaning the house for her and making food for her and serving her needs when she needs me to. I really enjoy spending time with her at the pool and encouraging her to, yes, be serious about working out at the gym, but also relax. There's times to be serious and there's times to relax. Me, I have not been taking my workouts very seriously lately, and I should be when I'm with her, and I think my mentality I had going into it was very serious and I think it rubbed up on her rubbed off on her so now I'm going to the gym to take care of myself a little bit and relax um I want to thank everyone who's been praying for me and Tanya and I want to thank everyone who is brand new um I have one new subscriber as of today so now I am at 39 almost 40 subscribers that's roughly about 10 or more subscribers a month that I've been getting. So if I can get one more subscriber before the end of this month, it'll be four, four, uh, subscribe, sorry, 10 subscribers a month. And I would have met my, my goal. Hey, I'm at Pla- not Planet, LA Fitness. I'm going to go work out for a bit. I'll be back after I'm done using the pool. Talk you guys later. This is part two. Um, just got a LA fitness. I wasn't there very long. I was there maybe 30 minutes max. They are not, that was really cold. So I ended up like for like maybe five minutes or 10 minutes using the, using the hot tub, which is more like a, a just a warm bath, warm ish bath. And then I uh, went and used the sauna instead. And that was a, yeah, I used that for a little while. For about, 10-ish minutes, and then it takes like five minutes each to get dressed, undress, and then get out. So, anywho, I have some news. So, um, the person who's been attacking me um, on social media uh, came to me on Sunday afternoon asking for forgiveness slash wanting to have a five-way conversation about everything that's going on between me and this person. And, um, well, both me and my mentor prayed about it, and we decided 
guest day and work okay if it's just me, um, my mentor, and this person. Unfortunately, um, they did not want to listen like usual. Um, I wasn't quite, I wasn't, to be honest, I wasn't surprised at the way he reacted. Um, he basically said, well, you guys glance over what I sent. And, uh, yeah, you probably misunderstood what I was saying. I'm like, no, no, we didn't. We decided to go this route. He, uh, then ignored all my messages. He messaged people within the group chat to, between me and my mentor, he mentioned more, more or less both of us, but he wouldn't talk to me directly. Um, yesterday, or today, and I left the group chat, said, hey, what's going on between you and me? No one else has to involve, be involved. Um, and you getting more people involved is, I don't know how to take that. And his response more or less was, nothing. it was it was nothing. He didn't say anything at all. No, okay, thank you, goodbye, no nothing, just block, block, block. You've been ignoring my messages, my direct messages. So I decided to post what I needed to say onto social media, and they ignored that too. And so I'm like, okay. He can do whatever he feels like at this point. I, I've seeked forgiveness. I have made atonement for things I did wrong in our situation. I have gone out of my way and deleted a bunch of really good videos that I made to satisfy his need. And now I'm gonna move on my life and I'm gonna ignore him. I'm, I'm done letting my past haunt me. I'm done letting people like this guy to get underneath my skin. I'm going to focus on my relationship. I want to focus on God. I'm going to focus on loving this person from a distance, and that's all. That's where I'm at at this point. If there's anything less than that, I'm going to be grossly in the wrong or say things that I don't really mean. So. Yeah. You know, in my life, I've, I've learned that you can only go do so much in a situation. And sometimes situational awareness is great. But sometimes you have to take leaps of faith with people. And I did. I took a leap of faith. And didn't pan out as I hoped. You know, I was kind of hoping he'd be willing to talk to me again. Except this time, not with name calling and negative comments. Instead, he didn't say anything at all, and he blocked me, and he did exactly what I, t I told him he was going to do, you know, and his life abandoned me, and they threw me out of their life because I was no longer good enough to be a part of their lives, and they moved on with their lives, and then for some reason, God, God put on this person's heart to reach out to me and attack me, and then he wants to make peace with me, and it's just like, this ongoing issue has gone far enough and I'm done I'm over it I don't see any point of holding anger against someone it, it does me no good does them no good in fact if anything it lets them win me holding anger against them it lets the enemy win and I'm not okay with that I'm okay I am not okay being a Christian and holding anger and regret towards someone who's not even physically in my life anymore. In fact, he's gone. He moved to another state and he has his life ahead of him. And I, I don't need to be focusing on that, especially not on my channel. And so I'm choosing to forgive him and let him go. And I will, I'm more than happy to say what I said to him. I said, hey, we're done. I'm done. Um, I'm moving on. At this point, I feel that anything I say outside of that is either an attack or me not being forgiving. So, um, I think today's plan is pretty simple. I'm going to meet up with Tanya, have breakfast. She's making me eggs and toast. And then we're going to fill the car back up because gas is getting pretty low. 
and then we're going to Barnes and Nobles. I think that's it for today. Oh, we have the uh, our margarita slash uh, nacho party. That's tonight before young adults. And then we have young adults. So that's gonna be fun. Hey, margarita. I'm excited for it. God's been so gracious with me and blessed me lately with a new job. Finally, a job where I can actually not just relax, but I'm able to learn what I need to learn in a way that only I can learn. And I can do it at my own pace, and I don't feel like I've rushed to learn everything at once. Um, the job itself, I work with just four other people, um, so it's going to be really interesting to see how that goes. Um, history has proven with me that I work better in small groups than I do in large groups. And so we're gonna see how that goes, working for a uh, lazy boy. Um, I have an amazing fiance, he had my back. She actually asked me last night. I, I don't I didn't really remember much. I just remember asking, but she's like, you want me to, you want, you want to get a haircut? And I didn't say anything last night, but I did this morning. I was like, nah, I'm good. I want to see what my hair looks like. I'll let it grow out a bit. Um, I kind of want to see what my hair looks like. Maybe it'll remind me of mom a little bit. My bio mom. I kind of, lately, I've been thinking about her a little more than I'm willing to admit. I've been really missing her. I haven't seen her in years because she's dead. She died of overdose when I was like 12. But like, I've, oh my god, I can't believe I just did that. Don't worry about it. Something happened. That's all you need to know. Uh, yeah. Ooh, that was a red light. Okay. I don't know for sure if it turned red before I started turning or it turned red as I turned. I was paying attention, so I don't know what I did. Anywho, nothing, nothing happened. Um, I will say this, um, I'm growing out my hair because I think for me, I want it to be a symbol of me moving on from my past and letting myself be who I want to be. And Tanya did kind of the same thing for herself, except instead of growing her hair out, she cut it short when she was doing a symbol of more or less of her moving on from her past as a symbol of her being independent. Um, and then back in the morning, she went. <laughs> Not long. Anywho, I'm home. I'm gonna spend time with my fiance. Good morning. Please be praying for the situation I've been talking about. The God's will be done, and that peace will be given to both me and the person that I'm having an issue with. But also give peace to everyone that's involved, and that their issues with the person can be resolved. Said everything I need to say in a podcast. Good morning. <laughs>